This race had to continue. I am Mike, your host. I'm back with another music review, and I got a big one that I wanted to review on this one. Mm. So, you already know I'm like a 90s kid still, like, even though I'm like almost 40, I'll always be kind of like a 90s kid. I like music from all eras, but the 90s really is kind of where my heart is and where I kind of really came into loving music. And one of the bands that just blew me away, uh, on, a, on a single no less, like before even the album came out, was Filter's Hey Man Nice Shot, that song was everywhere. It was just, it blew my mind, it was so good. That bass just like sets this tone and just sets you up for this amazing, uh, you know, explosion of sound and Richard Patrick's scream is just off the charts. It, it was just like, it, it, like I love that it's so quiet. Like it, you almost, it makes you kind of go toward the speaker and listen closely, just so you know you get your ears blown out even more by, you know, Richard's uh, scream. So it leads me to this. I, I missed this. I didn't even know it was coming out. I didn't even know they had something new coming. New filter, crazy eyes. And why I'm so excited about this. Now, I've pretty much loved every Filter album. Almost every single one. There was one that I was like, a little eh. Like, I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it too much. The last one, uh, When the Sun Comes Out Tonight, was phenomenally good. I love the album. It's got like a lot of cool aggression. It's got like some great sounds. It's also probably their most... Um, like studio polished album too. It's like it's still heavy, but it's still got you know uh, an even tone to it, or not even tone, um, a polished sound over top of it, which isn't bad. It, it actually uh, kind of showed the maturity of uh, Filter. This Crazy Eyes does not really do that for you, and that's great. I'm going to tell you why it's great. It is them back to roots. This is the return of Short Buzz, but more than just Short Buzz. Like when you hear it, you hear that time era, but you also remember Richard used to be in Nine Inch Nails. You can hear a lot of like early Nails influence into uh, Crazy Eyes. If anything, I feel like it's a combination of a reimagining of Short Bus, um, Pretty Heat Machine, and Wish all together. Or, I'm sorry, Broken, uh, all put together. Uh, from the very beginning, the song Mother E just it does that whole thing with a uh, hey man nice shot where it's like very breathy very whispery kind of lyrics some like floaty type or not floaty but uh some like low-key hard edge sounds in the back uh some muffled sounds and then it just explodes and it, it's very aggressive very the whole album in general has a very heavy angry aggressive tone uh, that even as much as uh, Short Bus had that, this goes further uh, for aggression. Um, it's also, um, it's all, like I almost kind of take it as this is kind of like a do-over for, uh, for Richard's career in a lot of ways where it's almost like I want to go back to roots but I want but this is kind of how I would do it now if, you know, if I was younger and just came out of a band and got my first solo, uh, you know, album put together. And it is, honestly, I, the second that I put it on and Mother, like, kicked in, I actually did not want to go on to the next song afterward because I'm like, please, I don't want to hear the next one because I don't, if it sucks, I don't want it to ruin how great that first track was, and it really is great. But it doesn't fail you. It, next track is, it goes more to, 
toward a, 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 a um, kind of, uh, I don't want to say commercial, but it does uh, lighten up a little bit. But that's oh, that really doesn't hold for very long. Uh, uh, was it Flag Pride? Uh, that one, the guitar work is phenomenal. At that, especially as the song progresses, progresses and gets toward them, the guitar is just so phenomenal. You, like you'll actually be amazed that this guitar playing is found on a filter album. Not saying that. Uh, um, Richard and whoever he has on the album uh, doing guitar uh, are bad musicians, are really good. I love the just um, the grind and everything of the sound of, uh, of a lot of the guitar work on albums through the years. But this is like, it, it shines. You just kind of go, what the fuck? And uh, then you know, you got the song, uh, Take Me to Heaven, which is, it's actually quite the sad song, it's actually about his, uh, father passing, so it's a very personal song, uh, it's a very a great song, too, but, uh, yeah, as the album goes, up, progresses, it actually kind of gets heavier, more experimental, um, it's less rock based and more two roots industrial. Um, it doesn't apologize at any point. Like there's a near um, instrumental song, I think it's the second to last song. And that one was phenomenal. I say near because I think there's only like a couple words spoken throughout the entire song at that. <clears throat> um, I mean, I, I don't, <laughs> there's, oh, what's the name of it? It's got kind of this weird title, it's like, something boy and blah blah blah, the short bus, and that is, you can definitely tell, like, just the fact that they put the word short bus into the title of the song, that you were getting a throwback to the short bus years, and yeah, you, you get that, and then some. It, it, I think it really sets the precedence for the uh, for this album, and, uh, and I hope that this is where Filter's going to be going uh, with future albums because this shocked me. This was um, even though it's it was actually received as the worst album that they had ever put out, which I don't understand. I think this is something that critics and fans would be jumping all over, because it makes a clear um, Back to Roots album. And, you know, so many people always complain about uh, musicians that have been around, that it's like, oh, you know, the new one's good, but it's not as good as, like, their first album or second album. And, you know, it's a common thing that people think that first album, second albums are, like, the best albums, and then careers just go downhill. Uh, I don't think so with uh, with Filter's career. I, I, I kind of enjoy them a little bit more as years go on, uh, with the exception of the one, Something Fortune, I think the name of the album was. Uh, but it just was a little too laid back for me. I mean, I don't mind when Filter goes lighter, like uh, Take Another Picture, which is like a fun, cool song. It's very commercial, but it... it even though it, it's totally easily put onto a um, onto MTV and radio, it's still carried as their own, which I always respected. It didn't really kind of come off as this. We just wrote this, you know, to get some fame. Uh, I don't think they ever did really, uh, you know, uh, go for that image. It's always kind of been, you know, we we do this. Uh, you know, you never see them in the press. You know, they're not like uh, hounds for publicity, which is great. Um, so they keep it true. They and I think because of that, that you know, keeping afloat, keeping at that mid level, 
has allowed them to create this bubble right now that they were able to uh, go back to the roots and still kind of showcase, you know, the maturity of what they've learned over the years, but, you know, still embracing and recapturing, you know, the younger years. Like, a lot of musicians just kind of forget about it and they don't know how to, you know, bring that all back. So, I mean, for this album, I applaud Filter implicitly on simply uh, on their um, overall sound for this album. I mean, there's like, there's, I mean, you can hear like happiness and slavery in there. You can hear Wish, you can hear, uh, it had like a whole, uh, there's like one song, it, it remind, there's like a part where it kind of reminds me of uh, Down In It, and then, um, what was it? I think, uh, was it Gerbil from Short Bus? There's like a part where I kind of hear, uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like the song, but you, but it, it brings me back to that song a lot. Like, I can't quite place it, but it, yeah. I mean, you know, I can all, I could just keep going on and on about how much I just love um, how much they brought uh, back from the um, younger years into this. And um, I, I may even, because I'm so ecstatic about this, I may even try to catch them on tour this year. Uh, it, it's, yeah. I mean, they've always impressed me. I, you know, I, I, Started as like a kind of a Nine Inch Nail fan, you know, and then uh, Richard doing his side thing was uh, even cooler. In fact, I kind of fell off as a Nine Inch Nail fan and became more of a Filter fan. Uh, not saying one, you know, picking one over the other, not like a Metallica, uh, Megadeth fan, uh, thing. I think that uh, Nine Inch Nails, um, Trent Reznor kind of lost track of that. Um, what made him great and made him unique and he softened up over the years and kind of gave uh, more of like this electronic bubblegum goth type uh, sound and it doesn't really work for me. I mean it could work for other people but uh, not, not for me honestly. I, I like the harder edged uh, stuff of the younger years. Uh, downward spiral is just, you know, mind-blowing. So, you know, it, it's, it, you know, my love for that kind of just died off. And, you know, nothing, I mean, who knows, maybe Nine Inch Nails will put out another album, uh, you know, uh, as cool as, like, with Teeth. I love that album. I, you know, he called uh, Career End on that, and I was like, oh my god, what a way to go out. And it just fell all apart. But like I said, with Filter though, I kind of feel like as the years goes on, they bring me something uh, with every album that surprises me and shocks me. Um, like the the last album, uh, it was very it was very cool, very uh, angry in your face. Um, still that. Um, you know, like I said earlier, more studio polish type sound. But, uh, you know, at the core, I think that a lot of fans always craved a little bit more of the short bus sound. Because after short bus, we had Tile of Record, which is a great album. I really love that. I, I bought it, I got home, I popped into the CD player, popped on my headphones, and I listened to it three times straight through. I thought it was uh, very good, very, um, and there's a great balance between, uh, you know, uh, a commercial, not commercial, I, always, I hate saying that, but uh, more studio polished, more professional uh, sound, like, you know, you could tell there was more budget in the production, while uh, Short Bus sounds like, I mean, it's still great sounding, but it does have awesome, uh, like, like almost recorded dingy, dirty, uh, you know, um, industrial factory, you know, in the middle of like, you know, the Midwest, 
and um, and I love that sound. I love it. It's so gritty. It's you know, uh, just the second that you hear like uh, a, a guitar uh, be, being strung or uh, or a, you know, opening bass line, uh, it, it was I, which is in part uh, Frank the bassist at the time. I loved his sound. He had such a great, unique bass sound. And uh, I gotta look him up and see what he's doing, what bands he's in, because I'd love to hear a little bit more of him. Uh, same with Brian. Uh, Brian was an amazing guitarist off the album. Uh, and I thought that he just had a very unique uh, sound, and a unique rig too, like uh, sound uh, pedal-wise. Because he used like a, like a little Casio keyboard type thing as like the effects uh, pedals. And I don't know if that helped a lot of that sound, but I thought it was really cool when I found out that he, uh, he had uh, done that type of, uh, you know, setup. But very cool. Uh, I highly recommend this. If you notice, I don't do, you know, one out of five stars or ten stars. I'd just rather give you guys my impression of, you know, the of what the album is like, a little bit of what the sound is like. Um, whether I personally think that it has some sort of merit to uh, listen to. And um, I really, you probably won't ever see me do a review of something that I really don't like. Um, the only time that I might is when I think that that one's going to be absolutely incredible. <coughs> and there's a lot of build up. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Like a lot of build up to um, for the anticipation of the album to be released, and I get to hear it, and I am shocked at how bad it is. I might do reviews, uh, you know, just kind of give you guys a heads up that you know this, you know, what we think might be really cool, it might be really not that good. <laughs> but um, I'd rather focus on really great albums that um, the public tends not to get to hear very often, or isn't exposed to, or isn't commercially ready for the masses. Uh, you know, I, I like more underground type stuff. Not that it filters underground, but, um, I mean, nowadays, you know, people aren't uh, keeping up with it. Uh, keeping up with it. I mean, my, I told my one coworker, I'm like, oh my god, you won't believe the new filter album came out. He's like, they're still making music? You know, a lot of these guys didn't stop. <laughs> they really didn't. <laughs> I mean, Skitty Puppy's still making material. Ministry's still making material. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of doing that too, going through, looking up old bands I used to listen to and be like, whatever the fuck happened to these guys? Like, I looked up Grunt Truck today, which was an awesome uh, 90s band that really blew me away. And uh, I actually was shot. I thought they only had one album, and it turned out that there was two albums, uh, two more albums, at least that I found, uh, that aren't bad. Not, not as good as that first one I, I heard, though. The first album was just so good. Or not first, but uh, the album Push. Anyway, that's a total different review. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that's going to be it for the Filter album, Crazy Eyes. Uh, it is out. Uh, go ahead, check it out, buy it, download it, uh, go to see them. I, I've seen Filter live before, and Filter is great. They are, uh, they they make sure that you get every penny worth uh, during that show. Um, you know, they, they really have never let me down. Uh, I brought friends to see Filter be, you know, and they were like, oh, well, you know, the opener is, like, better or whatever, and then going and being like, right like filter was just like so loud and in your face and so wild <laughs> and Richard Patrick screams just go epic oh and another point for this out uh, if you are like me that loves that pet that uh, Richard Patrick scream you get so much of it on this album I mean it's like going to fucking Haggadah getting ice cream like a Sunday. And you ask for the Sunday, and usually, you know, you only get that one cherry, a couple little jimmies on top of the whipped cream. No, it's like coated with fucking sprinkles and 
fucking uh, candy fucking uh, cherries over on the top, uh, and every fucking fudge and caramel. Uh, like, you can't even see the goddamn fucking ice cream. There's that much. And that's how <laughs> it is with, like, how I feel like with uh, Richard Patrick screams on this album. It's, it is like, oh, it's such a treat. <laughs> anyway, enough with my uh, metaphors and shit. Anyway, so yes, check it out. Uh, and I will have. I, I probably won't do it immediately after this. I got work in a little bit. But uh, I do have some more albums to review. Uh, I will be uh, reviewing the new Heavy album, which I'm very excited to. Uh, check it out uh, the I heard a little bit I love what I've heard already not that that band really can do anything wrong but I'll, I'll give you a nice and depth uh, review and like I've said before if you got an idea or like a band you want me to check out or just an idea of something you want me to research or talk about or whatever it may be please message me I'm always excited to hear from you I will try to uh, message you guys back and and everything uh, as much as I can. Uh, so far, I've been pretty faithful in um, messaging or replying as much as I can, uh, which I think I got everyone so far. Uh, even negative, I will reply to, and not in a negative way, unless if you're a total douche. Then the Irish side of me might come out and be very angry. But anyway, most likely not. <laughs> so I'm. Once again, I'm fucking rambling, but I am ending right there. I'm walking towards the camera. I'm going to turn it off. I love you all. Peace, but good night. Bye.